<laughs> and there was the nun. So I'm, I'm not wrong, I think. <laughs> Very cool. All of these film references, this is in my kind of video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Manon. I'm excited to take a look at another video today. I'm gonna be watching the video for Falling in Reverse, Watch the World Burn. So I have seen this video before. Uh, it's been a minute, so I don't exactly know what happens anymore, but I do know that this has gotten like a lot of views and I know the singer is a little bit of a controversial figure, figure in, in the metal scene, um, but I won't talk about any of that. Uh, I'm a filmmaker and I like to take my perspective as a writer-director into these videos and kind of discuss them from that perspective. So I'm not really listening to the music, even though like metal music is my favorite genre. Um, but I'm specifically looking at these videos and kind of from my perspective uh, and, and kind of see if we can deconstruct and figure out like how these were made, little things that we see, maybe some symbolism. I love talking about symbolism and how the filmmakers use the visuals to present a certain message, especially because we don't get any dialogue with music videos, which I love. I, as a filmmaker, really enjoy making movies and videos that don't have a lot of dialogue. So my first two short films actually didn't have any dialogue whatsoever. Um, maybe that's the music video influence, I don't know. Uh, but I, uh, that's, uh, that's my affinity. Anyway, let me not ramble too long. Let's, uh, let's go. Okay, we're almost heading into the, the the main part of the song, but let's just get some first thoughts out of the way. My goodness. So first of all, his costume insane. That looks like that was custom made for him, like very extensive it looks like a superhero costume right so that's really cool i love this plane again like we come into this song with this playing backwards sort of i don't know what instrument that is but it look, it sounds like it's playing backwards and that's really cool and the plane looks really big i love the soft sort of pinkish lighting on that and Obviously, all of that is done in VFX, so then we head into the, the set of the plane where he is here with these, um, in, and he is opening the back of the plane, and I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's in, <laughs> the next shot is we see him standing on the very ledge of the, the plane on, uh, outside, like outdoors. I don't know how comfortably you would actually stand there. Maybe his suit protects him or something. Like maybe that's the idea. That's really cool looking. And it immediately gives me the vibe of like, we're okay, we're in a superhero film, right? It gives that sort of, I wouldn't say Marvel. It has a little bit more of that DC dark look kind of. So I'm getting that more than Marvel. So it's a very kind of grim looking. And loving the lighting, although it's very dark, even this shot here where I pause it, like it's hard to see him even like in his costume. We don't see a whole lot of detail in a lot of it because it's so dark. So let's uh, continue watching. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. So apparently he was probably probably there like on a mission to destroy that plane because he jumps out and the whole thing explodes, which looks spectacular. 
and then he's just falling and he's like rapping in the sky what you can tell is that they rigged him so everything he's probably he was in like a blue uh, or a, no maybe blue but definitely like green screen area uh, on a stage and what they do is basically if you've seen any behind the scenes of like Avengers or any of the Marvel stuff or any of the other superhero stuff usually they rig them with wires and they lift them up in the sky and that allows them to kind of you know turn and 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 do these somersaults in in the in the sky and make it look like he's falling um which definitely you could kind of tell from the way that he was moving he was like rigged by the hips is what they usually do right so um that was why he was like making these movements and not really moving um side to side as much so mostly forwards and backwards and that looked very cool like obviously he's not wearing a helmet or anything because they did need to get his face as he was like emoting the music and then he crashes onto planet earth which is looking really blade runner i'm assuming that's planet earth might just be another planet i don't know what's going on here yet and he has crashed through a ceiling into what looks like an underground bunker or room of some sort and we have the classic cool blue tones and the warm orangey tones here which everyone loves i do too uh, but always just pointing out that we're we're doing the same thing here in terms of colors and they look so good and visually pleasing because they're complementary colors right and i have touched upon this many times at this point but it looks great and i love that bit in the ceiling there where we see the rest of the city very cool looking i am seeing a chinese sign so if you don't know blade runner the film uh it has had such a lasting impact on what sci-fi looks like and that was based on what hong kong looked at uh, looked like at the day because that was basically the home of neon and the neon signs and so that's why even to this day in a lot of these types of films and videos you will see chinese signs or um you know, so it, it is reminiscent still of that Blade Runner, um, the West and the East are fusing kind of vibe. So that's that's where that comes from, just so you know. So, OK, let's uh, let's see what happens next. He's trying to get rid of me. Evil tendencies are fucking with me mentally. I got people oh. that don't like me in the industry. I can feel your energy. You were not a friend of me. Because I have been to places that you never want. If you're, I'm feeling very Harry Potter right now with the basilisk. Uh, <laughs> these are these two big snakes that are like almost attacking him and he's jumping away at the right time. That looks, that to me just feels very Harry Potter. But let me know in the comments if, if that gives you the same sort of vibe. But still, it's cool. Okay, so now he jumps out of the ceiling and he's back on the streets. Um, it's it's very clearly looking like green screen to me because there's it, everything sort of feels like he is outlined if that makes sense but you can see it at the in the hair especially that's the hardest part because there's like strands of hair like you have to make it peek through here right you, there's so much sort of masking that you have to do to properly outline uh, um, him and even here this where I paused it this beam at the top it even looks a little bit like it wasn't actually there on set um, again not a critique that's just an observation let's see I pause it very quick sorry about that Pausing yet again, um, we got a little bit of 
Star Warsy vibe with him on this elevated stage. Even Hunger Games. I don't know if you remember all of these scenes where they're at the Capitol and they're like speaking to the people. Like it's definitely giving me that vibe. And you know, all of those like dystopian sci-fi things are kind of um, inspired by how Lenny Riefenstahl filmed uh, Hitler back in the day. Just just so you know, like that's the cinematic history of it. And uh, it's very interesting, very interesting. So this now we are like so we're getting a lot of different sort of visual references to other movies which is really cool i got the you know the superhero stuff then we got a little bit of harry potter in my opinion then there was a little bit of hunger games and and um star wars if you will and now we're at this sort of goblin figure which again reminds, reminds me a lot of harry potter so and a little bit of avatar in the background too like there's there's a lot of movies here. I think these filmmakers must have been movie fans. So, um, or they're, they're definitely working very hard to make this very, look really big budget and based on falling in reverse and the little I know, it must have cost a fair penny to make this because they did create all of this stuff in VFX and usually that's quite expensive to do. So uh, looking very cool. Again, here with this goblin, you can clearly see like the desk and this guy are uh, on on the actual physical set. And then everything behind it is just uh, the green screen. Just uh, so that you know. <laughs> and there was the nun. So I'm, I'm not wrong, I think. <laughs> Very cool. All of these film references, this is in my kind of video. Okay, so interestingly, as the movie, so this song has kind of two two halves, right? You have sort of the rep half, and then they go into like the metal half on the second half, and immediately like the the pace of the editing picks up, and like more is happening, and the camera is moving faster, and just in general like the motion of things, like it's the pace picks up, and now we see these women and, and people with their cameras and their or their phones i mean and they their faces are sucked into them um we have a little bit of religious stuff going on as well which i feel like there's there's bigger symbolism here maybe but because it's so melded like there's so many film references blended into that i feel like it's getting lost a little bit on me anyway um so let me know, like, wh watch the world burn. Maybe they're talking about how religion and our phones are kind of distracting us from stuff. Very interesting. Um, big set pieces here. Like, it's moving so fast. We are going from now a church and this big space. And we have the people with their phones back in the city, the Blade Runnery city. And... Yeah, wow, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's giving me a little bit of Michael Jackson's ghost. 
maybe, if you remember that video. That's cool. And I love how his eyes sort of turned back and turned white. That was very cool. And then the priest just catches fire all of a sudden. Lots of effects going on here. My gosh. So it, do, it does look like the actual church bit looks like it was looks a bit more like it was actually like a set maybe they built the set it doesn't look as green screeny as some of the rest does and now we are in full-on x-men cyclops mode so <laughs> this poor woman looking back and she's like see like she's getting caught by these laser eyes and he is just destroying everything maybe he's a villain actually is he a villain I think he is like he's even like the overlord of whatever was happening in the Star Wars scene the shots there Wow again like his costume looks so cool that's sick Oh uh, yeah, definitely a villain. Definitely. <laughs> the humans exploding like from his laser eyes like like we see here. That to me looked a little bit I mean they're they're basically disintegrating. So maybe it's not blood, it's just like their essence or something. Like it looks very cool. And then uh what I wanted to also look back at is this Oh yeah. So this shot really stunning i love the lighting here all the reds and with this gray tone looks beautiful love the color grading here also it's like it's it's desaturated and the reds have been really pumped up so we don't see many other colors than just the red and the grays very pretty and it really looks like it has a lot of depth whereas i think probably on set what they had was probably this thing that he's standing on and these two pillars and then behind that would have been green screen and that's how they give it depth right so after behind that it's actually fairly shallow like the space that you actually are working on but then in v with the with the vfx they add the depth to it with and and now it looks like they're in this really big cathedral and this is probably one of my favorite shots like just in some of the other videos I've mentioned this, but I love it when we have this perspective that's really like leading the eye to the, the background and him here in the foreground just looks really stunning. So, wow, lots, lots, lots going on. And then just the whole world starts collapsing and burning and well, you know, we're watching the world burn essentially is what they're saying. So uh, he's destroying the world. That's what a big video like <laughs> i wonder what their budget was for this because this is huge but also it had millions of views so i'm sure that they're not worried um yeah i'm sure that this was uh that did that this wowed everyone and you know maybe it did help some of the popularity of the song too it's like we can talk about that like how sometimes it's a good song and it's very interesting with the two halves, right? But also, like, I'm sure that people would be sharing this video. Like, wow, have you seen this? Like, it's such a huge video and very cinematic. And I love all the little references to movies. And they really sort of try to tap into the pop culture zeitgeist. And I'm sure that helped in, 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 it, in it becoming a viral hit. So... Yeah, let me know in the comments if you know anything else about like the ideas and the lore behind this. I don't know if there's a making off for this. If there is, please link it because I'd love to see it. It's so cool. And um, yeah, if there's any other Falling in Reverse videos that I should be checking out, let me know because I'm really kind of digging their video style uh, and, and that's uh, really cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I was able to add a little bit to your enjoyment of this video. 
uh, with the little tidbits here and there. And let me know if that if you recognize some of the movies I referenced too, and if the, if if I missed anything. Like I'm curious. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll join me for the next one. Peace. <laughs>